And I think we're going to slowly see a team that is growing in the tournament. So this is a French team, and, and this is the first time that we've been able to say that since they were so successful with the generation of Zinedine Zidane. And I think we're going to slowly see a team that is growing in the tournament. Roberto, thank you very much indeed. Alexi, you were impressed with England. What are your thoughts on France? I think they have to be disappointed. I think that they uh, certainly are a better team than England, but they, they weren't decisive. Uh, they didn't find ways to get in the box and to do things. They played it around very nicely. They went around the very nice. Ten players on the box. There is no space for, for, for France players anymore. I mean, you can come over the wings maybe, but then you need big guys in the middle. But they play they one you want, you want it's to difficult. pull back and give them no, space? No, no, like, it's difficult to play. That's what I said. But that's not what we want to say as, as fans. The way to play football, European Championship. I mean, everybody wants to get excited. We saw some nice games today. You, just, well, we will, you have to play to the talent that you have, and that's my point about England. They are playing to the talent that they have to get results. You want to win. Your fans want to win. They want to celebrate winning. Chelsea didn't they didn't win. Hmm? They got a draw. They got a draw. They didn't win. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Okay. Well, we will talk more in depth about the France England game uh, in just a moment. So it finished. Honors even then in the nets between France and England. One apiece in their opening Group D game. It ensures this particular group is wide open for Sweden and Ukraine. And in just over half an hour in the capital of Ukraine, the co-hosts will make history. This is Ukraine's first ever Euros. They qualified 